You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. I I think I think since I just found out what it means to be a Chicano, ch how do I say it? Chicano? You said right? it. Yeah, okay. very nice. That we see Kamala's impression where nice. she feels like she is a Chicano. That is nice. Oh, <laughs> all right. What 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 Michelle is talking about is uh Kamala or Kamala. Uh, sorry, sorry. Miss <laughs> Harris, Vi Vice President Harris, went to Univision yesterday and uh she was part of a town hall debate. Did you get to see uh, any of it, Michelle? No, I didn't even know what channel was it on. So uh Univision, Univision. which is a the big Spanish network here in the States. Uh, okay. So, so the target audience was, was the Latin community community then. Correct. This entire okay. audience here are Latino undecided voters. Okay. That makes it better. I just thought she was just speaking that way. Cause there was one Latin man who asked a question. Oh no, no, there was all Latins in there. And, uh, uh, I saw the whole thing. How about you, Fletcher? You get to see any of it? Uh, no, I just saw parts of it. I can't. I, I love myself too much. Oh, OK. <laughs> All right. Well, here there's a debate on whether or not she put on a she did a, a, a what they call a was it a switch code code switch. <laughs> Fletch. Yeah, you would say that. OK. <laughs> uh, and went from her kind of like your generic American accent to, you know, a Latino one, you know. <laughs> A Latino one, okay, okay. Uh, so let's listen, Simone. Let's listen to her. Here we go. Well, first of all, thank you for the question. I hope your family is okay and your home is okay. <laughs> well, first of all, thank you for the question. I hope your family is okay and your home is okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Your family is okay. You got enough tamales? I will make you some tamales. Uh, okay. Um. Michelle, thoughts, since you're the one who, who who shared this with me. My thoughts is never trust a politician. And I mean this across the board. This is my rule in life. Okay, first rule, never trust any politician, no matter what uh, side of the aisle they are, are on. If they if they try to talk like a, ba a black Baptist preacher, that's one. Two, never oh. trust, never oh. trust a politician. Oh. Who um, who tries to change the way they talk based off their audience and just becomes a chameleon? Like if I was addressing a Latin group, I would just talk the way I talk to Latin people. Like I'm not gonna try, to, I'm not gonna try to do, mimic an accent. It's just not gonna happen because it's unnatural, and they they pick that up that it's just you're being a chameleon. Well, another thing that was uh, unnatural was a teleprompter. And apparently yeah. uh, there was a teleprompter. Let, let us know about, tell us about this, uh, Fletcher. Yeah. So what happened is that I guess it was a miscommunication with uh, the people running uh, the Univision camera. Mm -hmm. And what they did is they did a pan shot, uh, probably with a handheld or something, and kind of did a pan shot of the, uh, the back and it did show a teleprompter uh you know giving okay. her what to say all right well let's uh let's watch this video and we'll we'll check it out here victim of crime are you a republican are you a democrat the only question i ever asked is are you okay there it is right there yeah oh man okay that all right all right well listen some some people just need one as a guy who's worked with teleprompters I know people that just, they, they can't, you know, you got the light, you got the lights, you got the cameras, you got the people, you need that as a guiding tool. And then I know people that will, won't even use it, even though it's there, even though it's there, like Trump, he doesn't, he'll go off script all the time. And sadly we have seen over the, but you're saying is that they get rid of it, right? Yeah, yeah, like, um, because I understand, I fully understand a tele. I would never mock someone using a teleprompter for like a speech. But when the point of town halls is to be off the cuff, it is to talk to the people. And if you can't answer questions 
about the way you would handle things, then maybe you're not qualified to do the job. Well, I, I, okay. You know, okay. Yes and no. Yes and no. Because I don't think, I don't think qualifications should, should matter. Uh, should, I don't think part of your qualifications to run this, to run, to be free, the free leader, of the uh, leader of the free world is, you know, you know, are you good on camera? Well, I don't okay, even that's, think, that's I don't not even, what I'm saying. That's not I what I'm even, saying. I, you could be as awkward of a talker as an Elon Musk, but can you answer the questions unprompted because you know you know what you would do? But I but even there I would push back and say, listen, if they got great policies, they got some experience, I could look at their track record, I could look at, you know, I can I can look at what the work they've done. I don't care about their presentation. I really don't. I really don't. I want to. I want to see it on paper because well, I know. I, I think. I think that's the problem here, though. You have someone who has yet to really even present their policies, that doesn't have a good track record, and apparently can't even just speak to people in a town hall. It, it, well, it, it's different if if we had if we came with someone, you know, that had these things. Well, that is that is the that is. At the end of the day, you are you are correct, right? Is 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 that has she endeared endeared herself to new potential voters? And that's the problem. Because as we've shared information here before, um uh she's actually losing the Latino vote, particularly Latino men. Uh so I guess that's when they that's when they, they get rid of it right there. You guys see okay. that? Yes. Boom. All right. Gotcha. I mean, I, I wouldn't have hit it. Big deal. Then then it's like you can defend it. Yeah, well, you know, I, I need a teleprompter. But like the fact that you like turned it off. Oh, oh, whoops. Hold up. <laughs> yes, what? yes. That's a good point, Polly. You know, it's like, again, again I, I'm, I have no problem with, with people. She just seems someone that is, is anxiety ridden and has problems talking to big crowds or even talking off the cup i get it so then can you can you can you can you point to your to your policies can you point to your record because that's at the end of the day i'm going to look at that and i'm going to educate myself on you and then from there i'll vote again i'm going to defend her on that one reading to off a teleprompter and then you have all the all these different production elements going on. It is, okay, it, it can really uh, unravel. It can really rattle you. Okay, any well, more? Well, then, then a last question I have to ask: If you have such bad anxiety, is the most stressful job an anxious job in a, in the world like best suited for you? you well, know? I'm just being real. Well, listen, that that is that it is, that's not only is it real, but it, it's a very you're making sense. Yeah. Cause it's I valid. mean, you it's can a be a very point. smart person, a very talented person, but we are talking about the most stressful, uh, intense job literally in the world, quite frankly, is what, you know, they're the, the two are basically two candidates are running for. I know there's more than two, but you know, by the way, guys, uh, early voting has started. And as of yesterday, I did vote because I will be out of the country for the week of elections. So if you are anything going on like that, if you can in your in your state, vote, educate yourself. I educated myself, uh, Michelle, on um, our local and our state uh, politics and what's going on. So, and that's all I wanna say. I'm not gonna tell you who to vote for. I would never do that.